What do you do? Do you walk? Do you ride? Do you use a push cart? Do you have a remote control cart? Or do you do something different? Because your setup matters depending on how you play out there on the golf course. We're gonna go through it all right now. This here is my everyday walking carry bag setup. And I'm using the Ping Hoofer Crazy Light Bag. It is one of the lightest bags out there, currently retailing on the Ping website for like 290 bucks. So this is the way I like to roll every day when I'm walking. And I like to walk a lot, so here we go. So when I'm walking, I like to keep things as light as possible. So this is what I carry when I'm walking. I do a 14 bag setup. I got my woods and my putter on top. I got my longest irons on the three on the right. Then I go seven, eight, nine irons here on the left. All my wedges are on the bottom. Some people will put their putter down here. You do that, you can. It's not as like cool as it is on top. Plus the head, the putter head cover will pop off more often when it's down here versus up here. But I'm not gonna beat you up too much. That's a personal preference type of thing. I will use this towel on this bag when I'm walking. I like a small little towel, I get it wet, and I take this to the green, clean my ball, clean my club, there you go, and it's just nice and small. I put it right there. I nearly lose it on the golf course every single time. So that's frustrating, but I prefer the small towel as opposed to the large towel. There you go. What do I carry in here? Here's how I do it. This pocket here is for my phone, my keys, glasses, things right, like that. I put it right here. Don't hit your bag with your club. You'll break your phone. So I'm told. Okay. It does have a cover in case it rains. It's right in here. A cover for your clubs. I love how they put it right behind the pad for your back when it's on your back. A little extra cushion there for you. Here's what I carry in here. The big pocket right here. I typically carry six balls. That's it. I keep three in a cover, three out. That's how I roll when I'm playing an 18 hole round of golf. If you need more balls, I get it, but that's what I got. I always carry two gloves with me. Just in case something happens to one, I got a second pair. I always keep a little pouch like so in my bag. It holds all my tees, and ball markers and whatnot like that. That goes in here. That goes like this, so tees don't fly around everywhere. I have my six balls, they go in here. I keep my gloves in the bag, or when it's hot, summer, I just strap them on to my handle, right like so. In this small pouch, I carry a marker so I can mark my golf ball. I carry a tool to adjust my driver just in case. And then I carry this one extra battery for my range finder. I got the good, good range finder here on this bag, Precision Pro. They make great range finders. So, and that I just kind of strap on, hook on right here on that side of the bag. So that's everything for my carry, except if it's going to rain, then I'll add rain gear. This is as much as I do carry when I'm walking. No more than this. And uh, I do not carry an umbrella when I'm walking, ever. If it rains, got the rain gear. If it rains real bad, too bad for me. Now be sure to stick around to the end of the video because I'm gonna show you some things that you must have in your golf bag at all times you will thank me for it later. That it's coming at the end of the video. Next on the list, let's say I don't know if I'm going to walk or ride, I'll go here. Because I, I don't mind carrying this bag, but I don't like having the small bag on the cart. It just flops around and wiggles around, slides around way too much. So if I don't know, 
or if I'm gonna do both and I'm going out of town, then this is going to be the kind of bag I'm going to use. This is about 4.6 pounds and sells for about 250 bucks like on the PXG website. And I will add some additional things to this bag that I wouldn't if I'm strictly walking trying to keep it light. One of those things would be this. I will get an additional towel and put it on here. For the purpose of when it's in the cart, I don't like everything banging around and clanging around so much and I might need that towel for other things as well, like drying off my seat in the cart or whatever. And then I also have the little towel for when I go to the green and stuff. So I have like two towels. And then inside, it's the same as before. Just move all that stuff into here. Still got the six ball set up. Still got the pouch with the same amount of paraphernalia in it. The only thing I'll add here is this. I'll add my water jug and throw it in my little pouch, right like so. We're just adding a few extra pounds, but you know, there you go. And when you do that, I do like the fact that they put this little handle here for you. So you got a, a little extra support when you take that thing off. All right, next up is if this is happening, if I'm riding only, then I do this. If I know I'm just gonna be in a cart, I'm going here. Now they make cart specific bags but I don't necessarily have a cart design bag because, well, personally, I wanna walk as much as I can. So I'm gonna make that a priority for me. So I'm not gonna get a cart just only bag. But if I am in a cart, which is a lot, don't get me wrong, then I'm going with this bag here. This is probably my, like, it's the most dope bag, I would say. This is the Vessel player for carbon bag. It's got this carbon, I got it in black here. It's like 435 bucks for this thing. And it's about six, six plus pounds with the strap and uh, the hood for the rain. You're looking at like a seven pound bag. I'm never really walking with this thing, obviously. This is for traveling and going to be riding in a cart. I love the, the pockets and everything it has. So I'm doing everything the same here. And this is where I'll do one exception, okay? Here, starting at this bag and this bag only. And that's if it's going to rain, this is when I start bringing an umbrella. So this would be my setup. Got a couple water pouches, here you go. These are magnet release, these are phenomenal. It has a space here for your Sharpie if you wanna use that. Again, spot for all your you know, cushion stuff. Good pockets here, everything's great. This is my riding bag. Traveling on the plane and riding. There you go. Same setup as before. We just added a few more things. We got one more to go. Also, I just wanna say thank you for subscribing to the channel, being part of the journey. And if you haven't done that, just click the button, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you know anytime a new video is released, so you're not like left wondering, where's all Mr. Short Game's videos? They'll just be right there for you. This is like the granddaddy of them all. Now, this is another Vessel bag. They make a bigger one, the Prime Staff. This is a mid-sized staff bag, believe it or not, and it is the one other than the walking bag, I use this the most. I'll make sure I have the two towel set up here. If it's going to rain or there's any rain in the forecast, I've got the umbrella. And what's cool is we've got a nice little umbrella pouch here. Wow. Right like so. If I'm riding in a cart, I typically don't use this bag, I use the other one. This is for my remote control push cart. The bigger bags on it work better. They don't wiggle around so much. This one, of all the bags I use, works the best on that remote control option. I keep like my phone and my valuables in here, magnetic case here. Oh, I love that. Super waterproof pouch. I mean, this bag, my clubs stay dry in this thing. So if it's going to rain, this puppy keeps me dry as can be. With this, 
with the super large umbrella, make sure you get the large one. And my remote control cart, that's the way to roll. This one's about 495 bucks on the website. It weighs about nine pounds, but then we're adding a lot of stuff to it because we wanna be sure that we're taken care of and nothing is gonna be missing here. Now, this is controversial, but a lot of times I will bring my speaker when I'm rocking this cart. And what I like to do is just clip it right there and it just kind of hangs. So if you like music, there you go. I'm not worried about weight at all on this bad boy. Just worried about having a good time. So now, here are some special things that you might want to consider carrying with you that really don't even take up hardly any extra weight and I'll use them in every setup. And they're all right here. First off, I've got some first aid tape. Just in case you cut yourself or whatever, you need to tape something up, blister, whatever, you got it, you're ready to go. Secondly, I always carry a little bit of dental floss. The worst thing is if you've got something stuck in your tooth and it hurts or something like that, you gotta be able to get that thing out. Dental floss is the way to go. I always keep a few little band-aids as well. You'd be surprised how many times I've cut myself and need to suture myself up. I keep some super glue in my bag. I've cut myself, things have happened. You need a quick like surgeon, doctor on board. This will patch you up, keep you alive for the rest of the round. And finally, uh, I keep some chapstick. I actually keep two chapstick and they're different on purpose. The flavored one, like the cherry one, is for my lips. Just, to, just so I don't mix the two up, because for my lips. The second one is for other stuff, in case walking out there, things get a little, you get the idea. There you go. Don't mix them up. Trust me on that one. That's it. Those are the setups. Thanks for watching. Hope it helps. Love you guys. See you soon.